So you're not a climate skeptic, you're a climate denier. Hey, hang on, hang on a minute, hang on, hang on. Hang on. And the idea that this uh, bushfire crisis could have been made different if we had have uh, imported more solar panels from China is just a nonsense. Ivermectin. That's, Craig not, Kelly. that's not my, that's not my, that's not my words. That's, that's not my study theories. That, to, that is, no, that's study you're referring to. Listen, no, that's study you're referring to because no, I'm not this referring is important. To any study. You are misrepresenting what I'm saying. Sydney on Health today, Craig Kelly is absolutely right. Does the Prime Minister agree with you? I, well, I don't know. You have to ask the Prime Minister. But I know. Does he support I think, you I think, spreading I think, this stuff? Well, I'm not spreading anything. Twelve percent of all interactions on all federal politician Facebook pages are on Craig Kelly's page. That's likes, comments and shares. This red line is the total number of interactions on all of his posts each week going back to July. This yellow line here is the average number of interactions for the average parliamentarian. Craig Kelly's posts have two really common themes about them. First, 42% of them, 550 or so of the posts in that time, have been about unproven COVID uh, treatments like hydroxychloroquine, like ivermectin. That doesn't include posts about vaccines, which have been becoming more frequent in recent months as well. Another quarter of his posts, another 340 or so, they're about climate, uh, the change in climate, weather and energy. Craig Kelly is generating more conversation on his page even than the Prime Minister on average and, for that matter, the Federal Health Department. He's basically saying, listen to the health advice, don't listen to Craig Kelly, but he seems to be pretty powerless to stop him posting some of those links on Facebook.